Yo, 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 what's good, everybody? It's your boy Chuck Diesel. We in the house right now for another episode of Sake Sundays. Gotta say a special thank you to our sponsor, Sake High, for providing the sake. This is high premium handmade all the way from Japan. There's no additives, no sugar, no gluten. So if you're looking for a healthy source of alcohol, they got you covered. Then we're also gonna say thank you to God's Favorite Jewels. You can check them out in the Open LA store. And we have this for our guest. It's a beautiful mahogany bracelet. Oh, shit. It was one of my favorite actual, uh, not a stone necessarily, but one of my favorite pieces to make jewelry out of. This is dope. Oh, of course. Of course. So, before we get started completely, we got one more task. Uh, light the sage, clean the energy real quick. Again, shout out to the Open LA store for providing the ceremonial stage bundle. One, two, one, two. Put that out, please. And now to the most important part of today's episode. Our guests, go ahead and tell the people who you are. What's up, guys? My name is Kev uh, from Michigan. Uh, I live in Detroit, and I just came out here for the weekend to do the showcase at the Open LA store. Yeah, and I'm here. Hi, Kev. Very glad to have you. And it's actually dope to have somebody who's closer to where I'm from. I'm from Ohio. Are you from Ohio? Yeah. Like my neighbors. Right? Yeah. Exactly. All right, question. So, are you big on the Ohio versus uh, yeah, Michigan? Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a state fan though, but yeah, we don't like Ohio State. You feel me? I hear you. I won't say I feel it. I'm not yeah, from Ohio. Feel- <laughs> <laughs> but at the same time, personally, since I played, oops. Wow, bro. Yeah. I didn't turn mine on. That one's on. This one's on? Yeah. yeah. You can leave it on the table. It'll pick you up. Okay. But um, I didn't really like feed into the whole debate on teams since I was in high school. So yeah, once I played football, I cared. But once I didn't play, I was like, you know, you can't. Yeah, yeah, I was onto the music. Yeah, now it's about the music. Oh, yeah. did you play sports? Yeah, I did play football growing up, but uh, I tore my labrum. I was no. Yeah, I was a middle linebacker. I was I was pretty decent, but I tore my labrum and I was like, yeah, it's over with. But, that shit, like that type of pain, like I was like, I am done. Oh, uh, I'm done. How old were you when you tore it? Um, 17. Yeah. Yeah. You're like junior year? Yeah, and then COVID happened. So, like, uh, I couldn't go to school no more. So, I really just started making music. And that's what happened. And then you, you couldn't have nobody at the game. You couldn't work out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. Is there anything from uh, football you feel like took away that helped you with making music? Um, just being um, dedicated and just that work out there never leaves me playing football. Not for sure. So, like, anything you really want, you just translate it how it is a football, you know? No, so you gotta be dedicated, you gotta wake up and want it. Playing football in my school, like, we weren't the biggest kids, so, like, we really had to want it. Yeah. So, was going around these, like, power, how school is around our area, so, yeah. That's one thing. Thank you. No, I agree. It's like sometimes with playing sports, people think of just the games. But you're like, bro, I had to go to practice even on weekends. Yes. Like, you yeah. feel me? It's like, I didn't go to the party. I didn't go to the park. Like, you learn discipline when it comes to sacrificing for yeah. the craft. And once you get older, I feel like you can apply it to actual life and not just sports. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you have a good coach. That part too. Yeah. That part too. Because guidance is always necessary, whether it's sports or outside. You feel like you have a coach in music? Yeah. Yeah, I do. I have two coaches. That's good. That's good. Yeah. My uh, two friends I make music with back home, um, Rizine, who just left, and uh, Will. But they do all my music. How'd you meet them? I went to school with Will, and then. Will went to college with Rezine, they kind of had a like mutual understanding of each other. I just came around and then they started being trusting me and really started coaching me up and, yeah, well, 
teach me how to use my voice, you know, punching in and all that important stuff, like, you know, keys and, you know, when you go up and down, and just learn how to use my voice. So, did you sing before you started recording with it? Yeah, I was singing, but I had no clue what I was singing. I was just singing, like just shower the singing. You know, yeah. singing the shower? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you were never in, like, choir or anything? Nah. Yeah. And I always just singing the shower, like, in my room. Did people around you, like, anybody on the football team know that you could sing? No. No one knew, for real. Is it because you didn't want them to, or you just never showed anybody? I never showed anybody. Just, I was so on the football, you feel me? Oh, yeah. yeah. So. It's like nobody's expecting you to start singing while you're out here. Not my parents, yeah. not my no. siblings, no. Yeah. No, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. My parents are always be like, what's this mic? Computer, like, set up. I'd be like, Wait, what? You had a setup and nobody even knew you had it? Yeah, because it was, I would just say, like, I play, like, 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 I'm playing the game or something like that. Like, I'm streaming the game. I can't believe it. Do you think they didn't hear you? No, because I would just, I'd do it when they weren't there, or I would, like, take it in my car and go to, like, the parking structure. Oh, it was just, like, how old were you? Like, 17. How old are you now? 21. 21? Four yeah. years ago? Yeah. yeah. Or the stuff that you're recording in, do you have, like, finished songs from them? No, nah, it's all exercise, but I feel it. I feel yeah. it. like that in the gym type shit. <laughs> I love songs. Oh, um, all right. Here, look. Let's take a shot to that. I'll fuck with it. Because uh, when I was 16, it was, I got a laptop and I'll be in my room and my computer. And I didn't tell anybody, like, I'm making music. Yeah. But my little brother knew. My mom, I have no clue if she knew what I was doing ever. So. It'd be like that. I was just nervous. I just, I was like, I grew up like a very shy kid. Do you feel like you've broken out of that, or you feel like you're still growing out of it? No, I'm not like that no more. I feel like I feel like everyone has their own self. No, for sure. I feel like not everyone, bro. I feel like there's some people who just are a big ball of energy all the time. Yeah. And I don't necessarily understand it, but I'm like, all right, cool. Um, let me take the play out of your book because. I'm kind of similar, where growing up, I was pretty shy, unless I knew you. Yeah. And now people are like, you're the, you're a, you, I can never imagine you shy. And I'm like, it's because I feel like yeah, I'm right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, so, moments. It's good to have, like, pockets of both. Because they're both useful, you feel me? Yeah, a long time being around people. But I love being around people. It's just, I got to be comfortable around you, or you just have to have, like, good energy and feel me like I feel like bad energy for me now. I have no purpose to talk to you. Oh, for sure. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to cut this one short. Yeah, if you give me your wrong attention, and, you know, but if you got good energy, you know, and I see captions close, I'm, like, I'm all ears. No, yeah, for sure. Uh, this right here is a shot of sake. I'm going to pick a glass. Sake. And let me know what you think about it. I've never had it once. Oh, uh, never? Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a rice wine. It's good. Um, yeah, it, it tastes like wine. It almost tastes like like a green tea shot. You know what that is? I don't think I've ever taken a green tea shot. For real? Yeah, is it alcoholic or is yeah. the tea? Yeah, no. No one else? <laughs> Have you ever had a green tea? Yeah, I've never had one. That's crazy. No, it's like literally like green tea shot, like pass on, but I think it's like some like vodka in there or something. I'm not sure. I will add that to the list. Add that to the list of things to try. I know that's a girl's favorite. It's the only time I ever have it. Like, <laughs> probably like, 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 I can imagine if this reminded you of it, that it's really light. You feel me? Yeah. It's easy to drink. Yeah, it doesn't even taste like alcohol. Yeah. That's why like all the girls like it. So eat. Some some guys eat as well. They're like, it's like, for sure. I just it's probably too. Smoky. Bro, look like we were smoking five woods in the <laughs> Dude, I think my like glasses are like <laughs> it might be far dark. But all right, let's jump back into it. So when it comes to your music, like what do you get inspired by the most, you feel like? Like other artists or something like that? Or in general, like what inspires you most to make music? 
what do you feel like has inspired you the most this far? Mm -hmm. To connect with people. That's a good answer. Yeah, because I feel like that's like the best thing about it is that you like people connect with you and like resonate with you. And that's the craziest thing when someone texts you or like hits you up and they're like, I love this song. They're like, oh, yeah. this song got me through a breakup or something. No, for sure. Or like they like, uh, like I listen to the song before I go out with my boys. Like, my mom likes this song, or like something like that. Bro, that's like, always the best when somebody's mom likes it, or yeah. like a little kid. Yeah. He's like, all right, cool. It's a good one, though. And you're like, dang, like, I was just messing around in the studio. What's your favorite song of yours so far? Um, uh, a song called Cigarettes. Cigarettes? What's it about? Mm, it's about having a, like, someone telling you, they had live with you, and they don't. You know the chorus is uh, told you too many, told you too many times that I can't live without you, without you. Feel me? It's just and then asking why. You know, kind of put behind the past almost. You know what I'm saying? Asking yourself why you're going through this, but at the same time you gotta leave it in the past. Oh, really? Almost. Good. You feel me? Oh, yeah. Good. And the name cigarettes comes from. I say I smoke a cigarette when I think about you. I was just freestyle. <laughs> Do you smoke cigarettes? No. Yeah. Like, for the artist. <laughs> no, I don't smoke cigarettes. No, I feel But, yeah. Nah. Oh. Uh, but my producer is actually is the one who named it. I actually wanted to name it Why. And it's, it's one of my bigger songs. I wanted to name it Why, but they, like, released it for me. I didn't know of. And they put cigarettes. And I was mad at first. I was mad. I was like, why'd you make it that name? Like, I wanted to name it Y with, like, like a question mark. But that is what it is now. It's out, so. No, for sure. I mean, you could put in parentheses. <laughs> yeah. You feel me? Yeah, maybe. But what or who actually is an artist, since you asked it, I mean that, uh, that inspires your, like, top three artists you feel like inspired? Not necessarily your sound. But just inspire you. Uh, Post Malone. Okay. I said Mac Miller and Juice Row. Post Malone, for sure. I've been listening to Post Malone for a really long time. Like before he blew up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, around that time. Yeah, like he, when he dropped his first mixtape. But. And uh, then I went to go see him in concert when I was, uh, I turned 18. And I was always like, that concert would be like so like, because like Zan, I'm like so shy. I'm like, no way I could ever do a concert in front of like a bunch of people. Yeah, like that's like, and you gotta remember the song. I'm like, how do they remember the song? Yeah. Like, and look at all these people at the same <laughs> time and start dancing and like go across the stage. But then I saw him do it and I was like, dang, that probably is the best feeling in the world. There's like 10,000, 20,000 people like all singing yeah, a song. Yo, all got the got lights you. up. Yeah. yeah. So it inspired you the way that mm -hmm. he held his composure and like, yeah, for the crowd. Just how like consistent he's like consistent he's been. Yeah, because like he's been in like so many eras. Like now he's like in this country era, but like start off with hip hop. That's hype. And so that's another thing you like about him is like his genre bent blended. Yeah, yeah. He's just so versatile, and I like that's like a big inspiration is like being versatile. Like, no, I can respect that. You know, not stuck on one subject or genre. No, switch it up. And you mentioned Mac. That is one of my favorite artists as well, bro. Yeah. Mac Miller is always going to be, like, top, probably top 10 yeah. for me. Yeah. And partially for, like you were saying, the versatility. Yeah. Any version, any style, any song, like, he has something for it. Yeah, Mac was pretty good. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, like, all his albums, like, are, like, all different. Like, yeah, everyone's a different sound. And kind of similar to your experience with Post, uh, I saw Mac live and in concert, and the way you could feel him connect with the crowd, but he came out high energy, like, he started with Donald Trump, and so everybody, you feel me, was in that yeah. vibe, and all of a sudden, he just cut all the lights, bro, and I was like, whoa, that was drastic, and then the whole back wall just lit up with, like, tea light candles, and it looked like, almost like Christmas lights. And he just stepped up with just a mic 
in the front of the stage, bro. And the whole vibe of the show was different for the like last 40 minutes. Hmm. And I was like, that's crowd control. Oh, yeah. You know I mean? And since then, I've respected him on a whole nother level. Yeah, nah. When you get crowd control, like... I said, I went to um, the Killer Roy concert, like, uh, last month. And the way he just had the crowd, like, it was sold out. I was like, dang, and he just runs right back into the next song. Like, it's insane. I'm like, how do you do it? Have you done uh, any shows that you feel like that was my best performance? Um... I've only done, I did two shows. Now I guess I just did another one, so I guess that's three. But the first two, like, I didn't know what I was doing. I was just up there, to be honest. No, I, was, I was high energy and everything, but I was, just, I was like, trying to get over being shy. So, like, you know, I was just out of my, my comfort zone. Trying have, to... have you performed in front of people outside of, like, singing your own songs? No, man. It's like, have you ever decided to be in front of a crowd of people and like say something or perform oh and not be like singing your song oh um yeah talk about people yeah I, yeah but it's different when you're singing them no definitely yeah. for sure and especially when it's yours uh -huh. for me it's like people used to tell me like oh you have to be great at this you act and i was like <laughs> that's literally somebody telling me what to do and how to say it yeah I have to remember what I came up with and figure out how I should do and say it. It's not the same thing at all. It's like, I could do that anyway. There's a million choices. Mm -hmm. but when you have something you're supposed to do, you just do what you're supposed to do. <laughs> like, but I was just going to say, uh, sometimes taking experiences where you just have to be in front of people and just using that to get comfortable being in front of people. Yeah. Yeah. Most definitely. Yeah, now, I, I, I like doing it now. No, it's not no problem. It used to be a problem. You have a favorite song to perform, or one that you want to like perfect for performances? Mm, I like all of them, to be honest. I hear you. Real answer. Yeah, they're all good to perform. It's just, yeah, I don't know. Oh. yeah, they're all good to perform. I don't really have a favorite, or I think the best one. What's your favorite song to like the process? to make? Um, hmm, that's a good question. I don't know, the process is really random, like, I don't know. I, I used to start off, like, making so many songs a day, and then I just have, like, a random thought nine days, and then I just go up and make it. And there's no real process. <laughs> I, just, I just go in there, and I start mumbling a little bit, and then I find the chorus, and then I go into the verses. You don't write? No, or like if I if I am writing, then like I write the song before, I, like if I'm a, even in the studio, like I like be driving or like getting coffee. I just get an idea, I start writing in my notes, and then when I go to the studio, I have that. Or another way, another thing I do is that, like I just think of things, and then I just write in my notes. And then when you get in the studio, you just piece those mm -hmm. together? Yeah, for like verses and stuff. Like, I just think of something hard and then I just write it in my notes. And then if I, if I have something, but usually it's just freestyling, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie, that's one of my like favorite ways sometimes to like finish a song. Whereas I, I get excited and I'm like, I wanna start recording now. And then I realize I don't have lyrics and I'll just go through. Like find those pieces, yeah. Things that are hard. Trying to find it. Yeah, and you're like, all right, I can connect this to this and connect this to this, mm -hmm. and I feel like that helped with like developing different flows. Yeah. Because sometimes you're writing in one flow or cadence, and then you find another line like, oh, that's hard. I want to say that, but the flow's not the same. You have to figure out how to connect the two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like giving yourself a workout within writing. Yeah. Yeah, and then another thing I do is that I leave like pockets for myself. Like I would, um, I would freeze, I freestyle, and then I leave certain parts open, and then I say something like go on a different cadence. Yeah. But it make it like the like it's a pattern, like goes like blends together. No, yeah. I don't know how to really explain it, but I feel like I got an idea. It was like you'll be saying something, and you'll know 
you want to put something else there, so you just stop. Yeah, and they keep going. Like, and you build around it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my. F- I do that a lot. That's actually smart. Mm-hmm. Is it keeps you like in the groove you're in, so you can keep going. Yeah. But you know when you come back, uh, you have something to fill in. Yeah. Yeah. And like you said, switching the flow, that's something that is like so important. But I feel like Loki gets overlooked because if a song is hard, you just like, oh, this song is hard. You don't always realize it's hard because of the structure of it. Yeah. Yeah. Heavy on the structure of the song. Uh, I had this uh, mentor who we weren't even rapping. It was mainly engineers and beat makers, but he made us all write a song together. And that's the one thing he kept saying was like, if you say the same cadence for more than four bars, stop writing. <laughs> and he was heavy on that. Like you could even say two bars and two bars and switch the cadence every one. He'd prefer that than eight bars with the same flow or cadence. Yeah. He was like, your in- your listener is gonna get bored. Yeah. He was like, you gotta keep it interesting and keep switching it up. And if you can do that, you'll get them from the beginning of the song to the end. And you don't have to worry about if they liked it because they listened to the whole thing. So if they don't know if they liked it, they're going to listen to the whole thing again and figure out why they listened to the whole thing the first yeah. time. Oh. Yeah, exactly. <clears throat> yeah. That's what I... That's why I listen to music. Because if it's just the same thing and the whole album is just like too consistent of a sound, it sounds like every song is the last. And yeah. You need a little middle of the song that switches up. Or you just switch up the flow of the beat, which is all those like the really good songs. I feel like that just tests like the level of creativity. You know what I mean? If you can add layers to one song. Yeah. He's like, okay. Uh, what's something you look forward to on your journey as an artist? Meet more people. I feel like that. Yeah. I feel like I haven't met that many people, so definitely networking and meeting more people. No, yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, make him great music. Those two. Do you have any type of like system or uh, set schedule for how you make or when you make music, or do you just make it when you're in the vibe? Mm, make it when I'm in the vibe. It's so, yeah. Or like someone has to like get like someone has to like get me in there. Or I'm just writing something because I write a couple of things. Like I write like three, four ideas. And I'd be like, and I get them done in the month. Like I just, I think about them, or I start a song and I start listening to it, how it is, and leave it open. And then I'd be like, I listen to it and buy this. I should go, you know. I don't know. It's not like no real schedule because it's just based off like where I am in life. Like I only really rap about like what's going on. I'm not like a, I'm not really gonna speak on about nothing that like I'm not doing. No, yeah. So it's like I gotta really like go through something or like feel a type of way for me to make a song now. Cause then it feels good as well because you get all of it out. Cause when you start making so many, you have so many that's like repetitive, you're gonna catch yourself saying the same thing. Yeah, same yeah. things and it's it's um it's structured the same and you know. Oh, you think that music is like a form of release? Like release yeah, therapy? yeah. Like yeah, like a release, most definitely. Not for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's definitely it's like a therapist. Where's your favorite place to write at? It used to be uh, pretty much my room, to be honest. It doesn't, re- doesn't really matter. <laughs> it could <laughs> be anywhere, to be honest. I write at dinner at a fancy restaurant. Uh, do you write, like, with people around? Mm-hmm. But, but really, it's just... Like, the last... Um, song I recorded back home like I was it was 5 a.m. I was just recorded a song my friends were there and I just did it in front of them I did two songs do they make music too no or were they like what are you doing they just watched, just watched. <laughs> yeah they was enjoying the process no for sure yeah I did two songs and it was like, like maybe 30 minutes do they throw any ideas in Mm-mm. oh no I just watching just watching <laughs> yeah just random. I was, but, you know, I was living this trip in Detroit and we filmed me. We had to move the studio around, so that's why I haven't been really recording recently. But when I was 
at the studio. We had our own like in house studio running it out in downtown Detroit, but we're in the process of getting a new crib. So the studio is not upstairs no more. You know. So I haven't been able to record as much as I want to. No, it'd be like that. But sometimes that's not a bad thing. Like you just take the time to reminisce, reflect, and then like you said, you like to write about things that are going on. Mm-hmm. It gives you a more time to just process before you get back in there. Yeah. Yeah, maybe come out here and binge. Six songs <laughs> yesterday. You got a whole notebook full of stuff to just run through. Just made six songs yesterday talking about my recording lately. Six of them are probably your five. No, but that's my first time. Like, that's what I'm saying. You came to binge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. It'd be like that. I don't know. But, um, that was definitely. What's been your favorite experience since being in LA? Mm. You went to this, this place called uh, Point Dune. That's my spot, bro. I'm actually maybe going tonight. Damn. That's a spot, bro. I'm jealous. Oh, uh, nah. I found it just by, like, Yelp, I think. <laughs> trying to find the best, like, sun uh, set spot to go. Is did you go into the water or did you just stay up on the edge? Was just stayed up on the edge. Yeah, I've never gone by the beach either yet. Is I've always come up at top, but last time I was there, like I found the trail that people walk on to go to the bottom. I just didn't feel like going all the way down. Uh, but yeah, Point Doom is the spot. You don't have to go down from there though. You can go. You can start on the beach and walk if, around to go up. Just climb the rocks. Do you have to drive like to the bottom though to start on the beach? Well, you always got to get to the edge. You got to park all the way close to the mountain for sure. It's like. I always come from like here and walk over to it. You know, where there's that yeah, like six parking spots are like right here. Yeah. Yeah. I always park like along the side there or like in the neighborhoods up the street and walk over. Over oh, the neighborhood up the street is crazy. Oh. <laughs> it's probably different. <laughs> Parking in the neighborhood and then walking. You just got to make sure you go before 8 p.m. because they close the gate. So you can, there's public parking, parking over there. But after 8 p.m. Like a full lot of public yeah, parking? Exactly. Yeah, no, I'm not coming by that spot. Yeah, no. The one that I've came is like six spots, bro. And they sit there and exactly wait for you to pull out. So that's how I ended up with the like houses are. Because I was just like, I'm going to just. Um, okay. Yeah. Every time I've gone, I've gone like four or five times. And I've gone and parked somewhere over there. It was probably the third time I seen like people walking down. And I figured, oh, there's a path. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go stand up. <laughs> <laughs> right. But no, I wanna go down to the beach because it looks fire. Uh, yeah, it's just so much sand. I gotta like take my shoes off. I tried to go down there, but it was too much sand. I was like, it's... no, bro, you gotta be prepared. <laughs> <laughs> you definitely gotta be prepared to either take the shoes off or just have a foot full, bro. <laughs> right. Or bring a change of clothes, G. That's what I learned. Have clothes in the car just in case. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you were in a rush then. We did get there a little late. We made it just in time. Yeah. 7.55, baby. Five minutes before I close the gate. This is... No okay. cap. Oh, you said you made six songs yesterday. Mm-hmm. Oh, are they different than, like, a different sound that you've already released? Oh, yeah, most definitely. Okay. You said that with a smile. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, he was snuffling. <laughs> no, because I, I, I've been like singing and stuff for a minute. You started doing something different? Yeah, I was rapping all last night. And yeah. I haven't did that in a really long time. So you used to rap? Yeah, because I don't know. Like, I always wanted to make like the indie, the like, alternative yeah. type of stuff. But I just I just wasn't there yet. So I, was always, I always loved rap, so I was always rapping, but... My um, managers and producers started pushing me to expand yeah. myself. So I've just been on that wave. Then I was with c feeling, And we made, yeah, yeah, five, six songs. Well, I'm excited to hear some. Like I said, what I've heard already, I was like, this is wild. This is crazy. I like it. You feel me? So to hear something different, I'm yeah. here for it. We got all the sounds already. <laughs> Every single one. Besides country, we haven't tapped into that yet. You say yeah. You say don't. Don't exclude it. 
Yeah. The country is actually. I'll, 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 I'll fuck the country. I just. I don't have, I have never read a country song. No, I feel you. I feel you. I don't know what I'm about to say. <laughs> but I'm going to figure it out. It's like at the right time, it'll come to you. Divine intervention. Uh, yeah. Exactly. I, I just released a, uh EDM song. How song? I have two How songs out right now. That was something different. I'm trying to tap into that. How'd you get on that like wave? Here, let's take another shot. But, what inspired that? Um... I just started listening to more of the music than I was just listening to my songs. I'm like, wait, why don't I just do the same thing? Yeah. Yeah. That was the only reason. I started going to more um, house shows and stuff out there in Detroit because it's really big out there. Where? Mm hmm. We got this, like, uh, like, this festival out there, like, in downtown Detroit, and it's just, like, the biggest, D- like, EDM house, techno, DJs around. And they all come for a weekend, so, like, it's like really big over there, but and it's getting big. Is it big over here? Bro, um, it's huge. Yeah, bro. There's a there's a uh, convention right now. Oh, there's some shit you've never seen. <laughs> I bet. Bro. I mean, I've been you know uh, you know Electric Forest. I've heard of it. Yeah. So I know like ten people right now who are at a rave right now, or not a rave, but at an event right now. That's all. House party techno music. Yeah. Look at that bitch jumping right now. Brett, what is it called? Uh, not after hours. Uh, hard summer. Hard summer. Yeah, that's the name of the. It's a two day fest with like multiple stages. Oh yeah, it's big out here, Brett. Yesterday on my way home, there was hundreds of people. No exaggeration, just walking away from the venue. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. I, uh, <laughs> Usually, yeah, I'm, I need to be here for that. <laughs> yeah, most definitely. And even after hours in underground raves, bro, Tuesday through Sunday, my man. Yeah, but I was at an after hours last night until like 3, 4 a.m. Yeah, I've never been on after hours. It was my first time, I won't cap. <laughs> hey, oh. I was nice? It was straight. I would say, I'm a little ugly, I'm, you feel me? So... Most of the people in there were probably like your age, 21, 22, 23. But it was over 100, 200 people in the spot. Mm. Yeah. So it was a good time. Um, I enjoyed experiencing it. I'm not big on that type of music. But yeah, I'm not dancing. too big, but like, nah, I go around. You know what I mean? Like, like uh, the vibe. Yeah. But like, if you want to see me there all the time, mm. probably won't see me going out for real at all. Yeah, so it's, if you see me there it's a special occasion what do you like to do for fun outside of music not that that's it <laughs> yeah uh, that is my say fun. This. this is my fun don't drive yourself crazy I mean working out yeah. I work out but right. besides that now like and I started noticing that like like people be like you watch TV like I don't want to get the TV plugged up in my room no, like, I hear that bro like yeah. Yeah. I was just going to say, don't drive yourself crazy focusing on music, though. Like, it's great to have at least one or two other things. So working out, yeah. But you have to have at least one other thing that's not related to music that you can do. Yeah. You just to, you feel me, clear your head. And this is a, someone who spent, I'll just know for a fact, one year when I first got my like home studio set up, Every day I was on the computer for a minimum of two hours. Every day for a complete year. Mm-hmm. I appreciate it. I learned a lot. There's a whole lot of people and things that I didn't do or interact with, which I don't regret, but I am curious what those experiences could have been. And there's a lot of time that I stressed about what I was working on in that moment. And some of the songs never even seen the light of day. So yeah. it's like, why was I up until 7 a.m. trying to perfect this? And I never even put it out. <laughs> like, yeah. Like, oh. I've had many of those. Stay dedicated for sure. I'll never tell you not to do that. But also, let it breathe sometimes. Oh, yeah. I just, uh, shit, I, I just started picking it up for real. Because um, I, like, took a little, a little break. I needed a break. And then, because everything was like, I don't know, everything was moving too fast. I was like, oh, shoot, I guess 
Slow it down. Fuck this shit. Like, like, I have one song. It's called Bottles. And then, next thing you know, I'm doing a concert. But at the concert, I'm only singing the Bottles song and three more other songs. But the three other songs are out. Like, I'm, yeah. like, releasing them as I go. Like, you, you feel like you were getting ahead of yourself? Yeah, cause I just feel like I didn't even have that much out yet. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? So, and then people do bad business and stuff like that. Things fail. You know what I'm saying? So, I was like, ah. I need to take a little break. It's kind of like work on my craft. That's what I've been. That's what I was doing. Now I'm about to release all of it. All of it's about to be released. Yeah, cause that's I feel like normal people do. Like they you get a little time, try to make this tape, then they release, and then they start doing all those things. But it was the opposite. It was like, I mean, I feel like in this industry, there is no one way. Yeah. It's like, for some yeah. people, look at Ice Spice, bro. She had a couple of songs and one that took off. And she kept dropping along the way. I'm not going to say her career is like a pinnacle of anything, but she's still relevant right now. Oh, she's big right now. She had that song with Central C. So, it's never a matter of it shouldn't be. It's just a matter of paying attention to how you feel about the way things are unfolding. Well, you just said you're about to drop all the songs you have been performing. Tell the people, either, is it a project or are they coming out as singles? Uh, it's a project. I'm still trying to figure out the name, but I know the song is going to be on it. Right. It should be coming out the next month. Okay. Next month or so. Okay. When I get back home. You bet. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of stuff dropped. I'm about to drop a lot of stuff. Then I only got like six seven songs yeah so but to release all the new stuff yeah because I've, I've been trying to drop the tape years <laughs> you have been trying i've been trying i've been trying but i'm like a per like like everything has to be perfect for me like so you have cover art already uh i still yeah but Am I gonna pick it? You know, am I gonna change my mind? Like, I don't know. Like, we'll see. Plus, I gotta get all the photos from here. I don't think I got all the photos from here yet. Sure. So. Well, what inspired the four songs that made you decide they were the project? Uh, they're they're just different. I I want the tape to like have like a bunch of uh, vibes on it, and four four of the songs like I got four of the songs already out. That's gonna be on it. And I like five or six more. I was gonna call that the tape, but what inspired me is just listening to new music and they complement each other, you know. And kinda of tell the story. For sure. Yeah. Are you big on storytelling your music? Uh yeah. Yeah. I just um Again, it was how I was feeling, so I, like, I just kind of just put, like, how like, I was feeling all, like, last year and what was going on, trying to be, like, really honest in this one, you know, for sure. Because, again, like, for me, music's, like, expressing myself, like, you know, letting some things do so. Try to tell myself in this tape, then the next one would be fun. Yeah. More to come, I don't know. I want to do a lot of things, but I feel like for the first one, it has to be a little personal and, you know, honest. Yeah. I like that as well. Uh, wanting to start with a true reflection of what you feel like represents you as opposed to what is hot or what sounds good. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Letting people see the artist. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it is good to drop what's hot, but. If you really nice, what you drop is already hot. Yeah. You feel me? Oh, yeah. don't even stress over it. Exactly. 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 Well, let's take <laughs> one more shot before we close.